48 hours after being rescued from a local animal shelter, this puppy is battling a life-threatening virus. Jackson's owner says he came home with Parvo. The highly contagious illness is not covered by adoption assurance and can be costly. Action News Jack's Danielle Vittable went to that shelter to find out what's being done to save Jackson and keep other dogs safe. She told me lack of energy is one of the symptoms of parvovirus, and that's how he was when she adopted him from here. And with proper treatment and early detection, Parvo has a survival rate of about 85%. Tony Ferrero came to the Nassau Humane Society looking for a new addition for her home and adopted 10 week old Jackson. But less than 48 hours later, she says her new puppy started getting sick. Didn't want food, didn't want to touch anything. Jackson was rushed to the animal hospital, where Ferrero tells me he tested positive for parvovirus, a highly contagious virus that affects a dog's gastrointestinal tract. All we could do was cry. The director of the Humane Society tells me dogs are only checked if they show signs of parvo. At least something to this severity that has such a high um, lethal rate in dogs should be tested prior to adopting out. Under the Humane Society's insurance policy, this virus isn't covered. They said our, once they leave the facility, um, they're not reliable or held responsible for anything that happens to them. While we were at Ferrara's home, the director of the Humane Society called and said an anonymous donor is paying for all of the vet bills. So it's 4 13 and 30 cents. But Ferrara says she still worries for the other dogs here. This virus is, is that highly contagious that you just, you, you, you don't know. And I do, I feel bad for all of the dogs uh, that are there. I spoke with the shelter's director of operations, and she tells me she's working with their insurance company to change the policy. She tells me all the puppies here are being quarantined for 14 days, and it's rare for one of them to be adopted out with that disease. In Nassau County, Daniela Vittable, Fox 30, Action News, Jax.